in this video i'm going to tell you a few tips for acquiring a new skill coming up how does one transform a skill that he or she has from good to great now uh, what experts say is that uh, committing to learning you know picking up a new skill or working on improving a particular skill that you are already good at it is not an easy one in fact every it is possible for everyone to improve their skills it is possible for ev everyone to uh, achieve that greatness in that one thing that they want to achieve but what is required is uh, it requires a lot of commitment you know uh, we need to figure out are we ready for it how much time and energy and effort are we willing to put into um, acquiring that new skill or improving the skill that we already have so first thing is about realizing realistically identifying ourselves are we ready for it the second consideration that has to be kept in mind is is the skill that we are trying to acquire is it needed is it needed in my career is it needed in my business is it needed in my enterprise is it needed in whatever i am doing for my living so if i happen to be a teacher now what kind of skill i am maybe an excellent teacher i'm let's say that i'm teaching mathematics now me acquiring a public skill, speaking skill how is it going to help me right so we need to have a clarity with respect to the skill that we want to acquire or we want to uh, polish is it it has to be aligned with the core function that we are doing the core work that we are doing so then the benefits are going to be real and they are going to be tangible the third thing that we need to keep in mind when it comes to acquiring a new skill or uh, improving the skill that we already have and trying to make it great is uh, what is our learning style how do i learn best do i learn best by looking at things do i by watching videos uh, like it can be youtube or any other platform do i learn best that way do i learn best by listening to music or listening to podcasts or listening to audio books or lectures or do i learn by doing things you know by make, by making use of uh, my hands by uh, opening things up by fixing them together so identifying one's style of learning is a very important aspect that can accelerate learning of a new skill or improvement of an, a skill that is already existing the fourth tip that we need to remember while transforming a skill that we already have from good to great or to acquire a new skill is to identify the right teacher now when we talk about the word teacher it doesn't necessarily mean that we go to go and attend coaching classes you know today's uh, technology has made it possible that you by you can sit at home you can stay at home through technology through internet through youtube through google through many other platforms and through books of course you are able to learn a lot but it also makes a very good sense for you to suppose you are let's say uh, you are working in a finance department you are working in a large corporation and you are working in the finance department of that and you really want to become uh, better and better at number crunching you want to master a certain software new technology that has come or a new skill set that is uh, necessary and that is relevant for your field so what you need to do is first find out whether your boss your immediate boss is he supporting one is he going to support your ideas of acquiring new skill if you think that's not the case probably you should look for somebody else in the same organization maybe in a different department maybe a person who is in sales and marketing or somewhere else but that person has to be someone who has already mastered the skill that you are trying to acquire now so uh, it doesn't matter you know you all you can always approach the person whether it's your boss or the other person who is in the other department or probably that person or that teacher may not even be in your own organization he can be uh, in the same industry or a different industry all we need to do is to go to that person and say hey uh, i admire your work you have done such a great thing you have acquired such mastery over the skill that you are practicing i am starting up right now i want to be where you are i want to learn the skills that you are exhibiting and you are demonstrating uh, can you give me your feedback uh, can i spend some time with you uh, can you teach me something you know it doesn't hurt to ask for help and when you get that right kind of help that is going to bolster your efforts at becoming good at something really really faster 
the fifth point which is very important but yet most of us forget to practice and that is starting small you know it's like new year resolutions so uh, just in the la in the last few days of the month of december all of us actually have plenty of uh, you know resolutions that uh, as soon as it is new year i'm going to hit the gym i'm going to spend this much time i'm going to learn this i'm going to give up on certain i'm going to acquire certain things but then there are so many things and there is too much that we actually put on our plate on our to-do list as a result of that it becomes very very overwhelming it becomes very difficult for us to kind of achieve them because there is so much that we want to achieve well uh, the smart way is to kind of start small so uh, another thing is that let's say if we if i decide to become a uh, if i decide to become a public speaker right or if you want to become uh, a youtuber or if you want to become a podcaster if you want to become anything that you want to become write it down first and then also figure out what does it uh, take to reach there okay to, so uh, step by step uh, maybe step one step two step three and then break it down okay i am going to achieve the step one in about one month time the step two i'm going to achieve uh, in about two months time three months time so prepare a timeline after breaking down your goal uh, so that it becomes easier for uh, you to achieve the goal uh, and and you are not overwhelmed by the sheer size of the amount of time that you would you will be required to commit to this acquiring new skill next up reflect along the way of learning journey now learning is actually a journey you know you don't after you achieve certain if you reach a you know a, a, a goal post or probably a milestone you will you are actually going to go the other way you know you will continue your learning and you will go and reach something along the way you need to figure out and say after one month of setting the goal where have you reached have you attained the goal that you wanted to attain is there anything that you need to change do are you required to increase the amount of time that you are putting in or or perhaps do you need to change your mentor or do you need to change your teacher or do you need to change your coach or do you need to change your habits so reflecting on along the way you know reflecting on the way uh, the progress that you have made along the way it is going to help a lot uh, and and uh, you know course correction is possible when we continue to reflect on the the achievements that we have uh, made along the way the last in my list of tips is to be patient acquiring a new skill takes time energy and at times even money now uh, most of us actually set out with the objective of nailing the goal nailing you know i'm going to nail it in, in just one month's time in just about two weeks time in just about three weeks time we usually uh, underestimate the amount of time that is required to achieve a skill as a result of that uh, when we don't achieve a skill we actually get frustrated and there is a possibility that we even give up the dream and the goal of achieving that particular skill or improving ourselves so instead of that let us be patient and have a realistic uh, you know uh, time frame so it is possible sometimes you may not be able to achieve the goal within the time frame that you have set for yourself but be patient extend the time a little bit if it is required do not give up giving up is not an option keep reminding yourself that giving up is not an option i think once we realize that it takes time we are going to be in a much better position to align ourselves to achieving our goals now a little about my resolutions for 2022 or my goals for 2022 goal number one is to increase my fitness the amount of time that i'm spending on fit, uh, fitness from 45 minutes to uh, 60 minutes one hour every day and also to increase uh, a little bit of the amount of sleep that i'm getting okay i'm getting about seven seven and a half hours of sleep uh, that many people may consider is already quite big but i would like to have at least eight hours of sleep every night so that's uh, goal number two goal number three is i would like to start a blog i want to start writing a blog i've already identified a few platforms on which i can start my blog and uh, giving it a shape in terms of what should be the theme what should be the name of the blog and uh, how frequently and uh, i'm going to be writing on the blog so that is the third most important blog and the fourth blog is uh, most likely i would like to launch one more uh, uh, channel that is dedicated to Kannada language 
uh, mostly it is audio books you know i want to read books and then convert uh, the books into audio books so it can be either a channel another youtube channel or it can be even a podcast so these are the four major uh, goals apart from this i would also like to kind of focus uh, uh, significantly on acquiring skills that are going to directly help uh, in my career so what are your resolutions and goals for 2022 and how many of them have you actually been able to achieve so far do mention them in the comments below that's all on Mudgal's Musings this week. Thanks for watching this video. Like it if you like it and do share the video among your friends and acquaintances so that they also get benefited by watching videos like this. Till I see you next time. Have a wonderful time ahead. Bye-bye.